Episode 41, We Love the 90s. Hey everybody, Jeff here with a quick little note. Uh, This episode is actually a direct continuation of the stuff that we recorded in episode 40. Uh, 40 and 41 ended up being a really long recording session for us because of the new way that we're recording online rather than in person like we normally do. Uh, And so rather than try to artificially create two separate episodes, we went ahead and just cut it right down the middle and we dropped episode 41 this time around. So this episode is going to pick up right where we left off with Zofia killing one of the Marauders. Uh, Before we get to that, I want to drop a couple quick announcements. Uh, The first is maybe you've heard of this already. I've already mentioned it a few times on the show and on our Twitter uh, that we are doing a second show over on the official Grim and Perilous Zweihander Twitch channel. Uh, That's twitch.tv slash Zweihander RPG. We were invited to come do a show. And so every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Central, we are doing a second show that's kind of a sister show to this one. Uh, You're going to have some of the same people that you hear in this one. So Long and Ashley and Melissa, uh, they're over there as well. Completely different characters, different storyline, but same, some kind of references here and there that you might catch if you've been listening to the podcast uh, since the beginning. Uh, We're also doing a second, a third show, I should say, uh, over on our own Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the lollygaggers. That's on Fridays uh, at 8 p.m. Central. This game, however, is a Mutant Year Zero post-apocalyptic RPG. Uh, Melissa and Ashley and Long are joining us there. And we have a couple extra friends as well uh, that are popping in. Uh, So maybe you can check that one out as well. We'd love to have you follow the channel. uh, And we'd love to just kind of talk to you because it's cool doing these live shows where you actually get to interact with people directly. Uh, Other than that, uh, find us online, thelollygaggers.com. Follow me on Twitter for announcements and other things uh, as we do some sporadic shows here and there, sometimes as the GM, sometimes as as just a guest and as a player. So Uh, You can catch me on Twitter at Lollygagger Co. Uh, I'll get out of your way now. Enjoy the episode. And we hope to see you on Thursdays and Fridays on the uh, Twitch channels. So does that mean that he dies because he took that injury? He does, in fact, die. That's why there's a big red X over him. Uh, Okay. Sweet. Just want to make sure everybody knows that (laughs) I successfully killed something. Good job. Lavinia, you're on death's door. What do you want to do? Oh, God. Do I go just how close is she to death? Uh, I mean, looking at her, she is bleeding pretty profusely from a terrible gash that Stekis gave her. But, you know, who knows? She looks, she definitely looks more combat ready than you do, but she certainly looks terrible. Yeah. She looks, she looks sturdier than you do. By that, I mean, it would be easier to hit you than it is to hit her. Yep. Okay. So that I'm going to spend two to maneuver. Okay. So you're stepping out of the engagement and avoiding opportunity attack. And you got one more AP left. Uh, I'm gonna take cover. Can I by the tree? Uh, sure. That's relatively close enough. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you're okay. gonna try to hide a little bit. Yeah, and then eventually I want to get back to Stekus. Uh, all right. So then, uh, next up is going to be the other Marauder that's been dual wielding. I'm gonna roll resolve test for this one really quickly, and you're gonna see the. Big lady is gonna sh- is gonna shout something, yeah, 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 and just kind of points in the we- in the kind of a western direction. So this one's gonna go ahead and maneuver two steps out of the engagement, uh, and then it's going to use the rest of their movement to start hustling away. There, you can see them starting to curve around the the hill a bit, stepping over some rocks, and they're kind of running westernly. So that one's breaking and leaving. Um, None of you speak whatever language this is, so you can't decipher it. Uh, Stekus, why don't you go ahead and roll a hard folklore test? That's a fail. On the 67. You, you've heard the language before, but you never quite picked up the dialect whenever some of these folks were brought into the, the pit. You can never quite piece it together. Uh, okay, so then next up will be Stekus. You got Lavinia next to you. One of these things is running away. One of these things which is brutally killed by Sophia, but the big one, the really dangerous one, is still alive. Surrounded, rather. I'm going to use two AP to stand up. Gotcha. And that's all I'm going to do, because that's all I can do. Bank the other. Okay, Bear, what do you want to do? One of them's running away. Yeah, I can't 
catch him. One of them is still standing nearby. He's too fast for me. Uh, I could throw a thing at him. Hey, uh, there is a thing called guild ranged in this game. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. Uh, was he pretty wounded? Uh, this guy who ran away did take a, did a little bit. He's in he's in decent shape. Oh wait, I can hustle twice, right? You can hustle twice, of course. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll chase him down. Okay. Get, I'm gonna f- be on the other side of him. I'll flip around him. Okay, step in front of him. Nice. Yeah, block okay. his path. All right. Um, and then, what do you want to do with that last AP? And sweep at his legs with the the old foe shard. You attempt to take down, or are you gonna try to attack and then hope you hit and get a free takedown? Oh, Probably the second one, attack. right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sort of I got better odds. <laughs> okay, go for it. That was the difficulty. Uh, standard, it's just 1v1 at this point. Ooh, the two of you are off off away from the main melee. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Uh, then the female will come back up. Uh, the big husky lady is going to turn to Hubert. Um, going to turn to Sophia as well, seeing the two of you. Uh, Hubert, however, is within range, so she doesn't have to step anywhere for that. So I think what I'm going to do is my classic, try to trip you, knock you on the ground with a coordination test. Uh, And so we'll see. Uh, She will fail the coordination test, then she'll go ahead and just take aim, and with uh, kind of this upward swing of the maul, we'll try to golf Hubert up to the top of the hill. Uh, How's that sound? I think it sounds great. Sounds like you should fail that role and that not actually happen. Do you really think that that's going to happen? No, I don't. Tell me, Chris, <laughs> happen. 98. I just rolled a 91 and a 98 back to back. There you go. Luck is changing, everybody. And Hubert, it's your turn. She's still defenseless to your charms. Looks like he's on my side as I go for the final strike. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take him twice. Okay. And because you and Sophia are the only ones here left, you're going to get plus 10 as well. So just treat it as trivial to hit her with the two of you surrounding her. It is plus 30. Holy. Yeah. If you miss this, I want to I wanna see him roll 100. If he rolls 100, he will, his head will explode. 66 crit. You, <laughs> you had a 112 rating. <laughs> yeah. All right. What? It says plus 60. It says plus 60. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know why I put 60. What did you do? So it should have been an 82. Yeah, like take aim and then plus 30. It should have been 50, my bad. It should have been, been 50. Okay, so it's 102. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but 100, just so you know, 100 would still have failed. Yeah, it would. Okay. Uh, so that's a that's a crit. That damage is enough. Uh, describe your kill. Uh, the repeated beatings that our, our team, our squad has been taking. It's finally turned tides as my spear that I pull back one final strike towards her head it is thrust straight through her very nice and she she kind of collapses down right on top of the shield guy and so there's now even more bodies on top of this 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 big heap of bodies uh okay so zofia you just saw bear chase after one of the other ones that was running away you saw Hubert just finally took care of this larger woman. You see Lavinia and Steck is terribly wounded, uh, kind of hiding behind this tree a little bit to the north of you. Uh, Bear's all by himself to the west. Hubert just took care of business here. What do you want to do? Sophia is definitely going to run after um, and try to assist. So you head over. You start trudging through the snow and the rock. Yeah, I've got movement of 10, so. Okay. You should be able to get there pretty easily. Yeah, you can get there in one okay. movement. Hustle. And so now Take. the two of you are outnumbering. So if you're taking aim, don't forget yes. that you're outnumbering. So you can have plus 10 on your attack. Make it make it routine. No. That's fail. a fail. Uh, and uh, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, I spent one to move, one to take aim, and one to attack. Okay. All right, Lavinia, do you want to do anything? Like combat-wise, no. Okay. All right. All right, both of uh, well, you took a you took a bandage already this morning, so you can't take a heal. Uh, Stekus, Stekus, you took one as well. 
I didn't. Yeah, think. I didn't. I didn't think so. I thought it was Bear and Hubert oh, okay. and Lavinia. So if um, if you, I do have, I have three bandages. Okay. So if the two of you, we can remove you essentially from from this, and you guys can start patching yourselves up. Uh, so you're welcome to do it. Do you want me to roll a heal real quick or no? If you feel more confident than you were this morning, I would appreciate it. No. Not necessarily. So if you would not like me to, I will not do it. Then you can sit there and bleed. Kill him. I am used to it as the rest of you are incompetent at combat. <laughs> what this part of me looks like her. I am supposed to be part of me for combat? <laughs> and Lavinia will get just kind of like snooty and she'll stand up and she'll like head over to the cart and then she Hit will him. actually start like perusing through the items. To see okay. She- I thought I'm you were going to stab him. Oh, I'm great. going to take a lot of them. Okay. All right, so you can pop back up to uh, Sirius. So then we're going to switch over, and it's going to be like this. It's going to be the Marauder's turn that's trying to run away. Is that three corruption? Uh, no, uh, yeah. it's one corruption. Single, yeah. Single corruption. One, Today. okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this guy is going to... Hmm. Seeing that he's probably not going to be able to run away... I think he will try anyway. I think I'm just going to... Actually, no, I can't run. It's hard to run. Budge. Um, I think I'm just going to do three hustles and move 24 yards to the west. Uh, So you two can both take opportunity attacks if you like. Of course. Hit him. Mm -hmm. And again, you can both take him at at routine. They can't dodge or anything like that. So if you get the hits, this could be good. All right. So got a 98 by Sophia. That's a miss. And got a 12 by Bear. That's a hit. That'll be... Good job, Bear. That'll move him down a step, uh, and I will roll for so on intriguing. opportunity attacks. Do I still do the entangling? I don't see why not. Go ahead. Oh my God. You want to try to take down? Take him down Knock so he can't down. run. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I guess it happens. So. <laughs> okay, so he trips and falls. So his first, uh, so he's gonna move basically just a bit. Like he'll like as he's as he's moving out of your range increment. Uh, he will trip and fall off his first man- his first hustle, so leaving him with two AP left. Uh, so he will just go ahead and use him to stand up uh, since you're doing a takedown. All right, so then Stekis and Lavinia are taken care of. Bear, uh, what do you want to do? I will yet again go on the other side, <laughs> try and block his path again, go for his legs again, deal so shine. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, is it just standard now? Yeah, it's standard because the two of you are off away from Sophia. Uh, that is a yay. And you see, as he, uh, yeah, he like he's gonna go ahead and move down another couple of steps. Uh, and unfortunately, he is he's terribly wounded, but not quite dead. Hubert, you're ways away. Uh, what's your movement? Six. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. That's a cute amount of movement. But aren't you a bird? Couldn't you can get there actually? <laughs> you can get there in two hustles. You're twelve yards away. I wanted to knock him down again. Okay, so he is Just knocked down. At his legs. Did you want to chase after them? You can get to them in two yards. Twelve yards. Two oh, s- nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll help him out. Back him up. Okay. So you got one AP left. Do you want to take a swing? This will be my final attack. Okay. Ever. On this man. Okay. Yep. No, it won't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're bad at you're bad at uh, tabletop role playing games. Uh, oh, look at that damage you missed out. That's a ton of damage you would have gotten. Twenty Holy. damage. Zofia, go finish him off, please. I'm trying. Coming in, taking aim. Go ahead. What's the difficulty going to uh, be now? I'm going to make it trivial. The three of you have him surrounded. He's on the ground. It's impossible to miss. Roll, roll a d100 and don't roll a hundred. As long as you don't roll a hundred, you'll kill this guy. Please, that would be the greatest. Please kill this guy. <laughs> please kill Hubert. 68. As you're, you're chasing after, you see he's fallen to the ground. Barris kind of got him, got his boot on top of the guy's shoulder so he can't seem to get up. You just take your, your spear and you thrust it up and under uh, some of the panels uh, of leather uh, and hide that he's wearing, and you can hear the last death throws as he gurgles and gurgles. Thank goodness. You guys look around at the carnage, and you can see that there are a total of, of six bodies on the ground. You've got three bodies of these marauders that's uh and you got three other bodies uh, all of whom uh, lavinia recognizes uh and so 
I should have done this when you guys first found the bodies, but if everyone could go ahead and just make a routine, uh, a routine check uh, for sort of stress and and whatnot, uh, resolve. Excuse me. I am this, indifferent because uh, you're just seeing all these dead bodies all over oh, the place. Yeah. If you've got indifferent, you're good. You don't gotta worry about nice. it. Nice. You failed. Passed. I failed. Then uh, Bear and Lavinia are gonna take ten points of peril and three points of corruption uh, as this this this. When you start looking at them even more closely, you can see that these bodies were not uh, kindly treated. Uh, they were pretty brutal. And looking at your own wounds, you can tell that uh, these these individuals certainly can do a significant amount uh, of damage. Uh, so, yeah, you just start to dark thoughts begin to permeate your brains. Uh, I want Bear, Zofia, and Hubert to all roll awareness tests at routine. As you look off to the west uh, through this opening in the hills and kind of down a little bit of an incline, and in the distance you can see there's like a f- like some sort of farmhouse. Yes, all of you, uh, you can see that there is a, a, it's a ways away still. Um, you can see that there's signs of activity. There's a kind of a plume of gray smoke coming up out of the chimney, the rooftop, and you can see some figures uh, moving at a distance. A bear. You can see that there with your with your crit success, uh, you can see a few other things as well. Uh, there are some fairly large horses uh, that are scattered about, and not only is there a a plume of smoke coming up from the chimney, but you can see that there is is sort of a large roaring fire uh, out in front to the south of this this uh, this farmhouse in the distance. Uh, this kind of big pyre of some kind, and it's just—it's really, really easy uh, to see. And you start pointing it out to to Hubert. There's definitely somebody home, but this is also the direction that this one individual who was trying to run away was running. All right. Mm, the people we were looking for—is this them? Or is this just her neighbors? These Not are just her neighbors. Farm, yeah. Oh, okay. And as you start going through the, because you said you were kind of rummaging um, for things, you find a couple odds and ends. You find a bunch of foodstuffs. Uh, you get about 15 days worth of rations in here. Uh, you can see that there is this small chest that has been broken open and all sorts of stuff has been spilled, including uh, a bunch of silver. There's like 54 silver pieces, uh, a couple pieces of small jewelry like little like silver uh silver bands and and necklaces this copper sculpture uh you probably have seen this sculpture at some point it was in their home if you've ever visited a bunch of basic clothes and winter clothing Uh, there's a longbow uh, unstrung currently but it's in there and it looks like somebody might have been trying to get to it but couldn't get to it and get it strung in time uh, there's a mortuary sword and there's two wooden shields. It looks like uh, they like the the sword itself. Someone was trying to wield. Uh, there's three shields on the ground. One of them's completely destroyed. It's the one from the Marauder that you were fighting, and then there's these two others that are intact. Yeah, Lavinia will be just moving all of that to our cart. I'm going to go through this muscular lady stuff and look at her weapon and see if I see anything that I recognize. Uh, splitting um, mall. It's a splitting mall. Uh, you can see uh, they have hide armor. You can see that they also are carrying similar uh, holy symbols uh, that at this point you all are familiar with. This kind of awkward looking tribalistic crow that uh, that at this point you've realized is is signifies their allegiance to the Prince of Change, one of the, the demonic princes that was described to you by a few different NPCs at this point. Uh, but they, you don't see anything better than what you already have. Um, the shield guy's shield is busted, but he does have a woodman's ax. Uh, and there's a handful of throwing axes, the Francesca's uh, all over the place. Uh, and there's a threshing flail as well. And you see some odd, and they, and they have some other things, some little trinkets and stuff that you can probably sell in town, just stuff that they probably looted uh, from whatever kind of raiding that they've been doing. And just little little things that look somewhat uh, somewhat expensive or, or might be showy or, or might uh, 
net them some kind of uh, reputation for bringing to whatever whatever tribe or or settlement that they come from. Hmm. We'll definitely gather all that stuff up in the cart. Sure. Yeah. So you take about a half an hour or so to start piling that kind of stuff up. I would say you probably keep a close eye on the farm that's down a ways and you don't you don't see any movement coming up towards the hills. Uh, but with Bear's critical success and you guys having kind of a high ground, you can tell that there, there are a handful of folks that are moving around and they seem to be like throwing things into that big pyre, that big, that, that big burning uh, pyre out in front of the building itself. I want to ask Lavinia if this is all the people that lived at that house. Is that their house there? That is not. Uh, oh. You would know oh. that the one that you're looking at is your destination. Uh, you, oh. You're kind of heading in the direction of the Hobart farm. The neighbors of Lavinia's are from the north, a little bit further. Um, do I recognize any of the people down like at the other farm? It's just too far away. Probably not good people over there if that's where they're yeah. headed. So we should see. Yeah, the last thing the lady we were fighting shouted, and he's just started running over there for no reason. There must be something happening. We should go check it out. That is the Hobart farm. That's where we were going. Yeah, but best hope they're still alive. Stekis and I have taken great injuries. If there's more fighting. Did you not want something? I do greatly, but. Is it not worth trying? For we have already taken the wounds. Otherwise, this effort has been pointless and a waste of effort and blood. Uh, and Lavinia will just, again, pinch the bridge of her nose and she'll hold her hand out. Give me the stupid bandage, you <laughs> stupid man. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll your bandage check on Stekis. Uh, Stekis, what are you at? Moderately now? Uh, I am at... I went from grievously up to seriously, so this will take me to moderately. All right, so this should be routine for... Or no, you're at seriously. Sorry, this should be standard. Standard, okay. Please. Oh! Great success. Move up two. Move up two. Lightly. That's a one. Uh, Okay. Okay, just to preface, I'm still grievously wounded, so I'm not doing shit. I love (laughs) y'all. See, all it takes is trying and you are successful. Thank you for assisting me. Perhaps all in the future. A grouchy old man to get under my nerves until I want to choke you. Yes. Well, perhaps if everyone had that motivation, we would not be in the situation we're in. All right. So, Stekis, you're feeling a little bit better. Got your, got your heels. Uh, what's next, guys? Let's uh, sneak up to that their big old bonfire thing. Okay. So looking down, because again, you guys are, are kind of up on some hills looking down on some farmland area. Uh, and you've got enough vegetation and things like that to, to obscure. Like you can, you can look down there and you're, you can feel pretty confidently that they don't see anything. Uh, moving down, you can see that there's some, there's some farmland. There's some, some rocky areas here and there that don't seem to have any vegetation around them. There's a couple trees from time to time. Um, the fields aren't currently producing anything. It's, it's winter, so there's really nothing there. Uh, but you can probably navigate a decent route if you're careful uh, to stealth down there without being seen. Uh, what were these dudes wearing? Were they wearing masks? No, these guys are just normal. Oh. I don't know if we could like disguise as them. They had on like the hide armor and stuff that you've seen before. Uh, these just look like people. Like she's got like some really thick skin, uh, but these just look like some really rough and tumble people. Okay. Uh, so the first time you guys fought people like this was when you were at the site of where Gabriel was last known to be alive. Uh, and a couple of them had taints of chaos to make them look abnormal, but the rest of them just looked like just some really gnarly people and that's all these really look like too so you're pretty confident these are just normal folk who've just lived a really hard and chaotic life Mm -hmm. so if you want to go down there uh if you're bringing the cart that's going to make stealthing next to impossible 
and then you got the horses to worry about. And if you're going down there, you're also going to want to make some stealth checks. So I say we leave uh, the cart. I need that. Or we can have Lavinia run as bait with the cart, and then we ambush him. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Okay. Counter ambush. It's like yeah. some of us roll up with the cart and then others come out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Lavinia is not on board. No, I'll die. I just need Terrible one rogue player. arrow. I'll protect you. So why don't you go ahead and roll me some stealth tests? All of you go ahead and roll. And remember they're secret, so just roll them like normal. And we'll see where it goes. Solid start. Okay. Mm. Okay, looks like looks like Hubert with the eighty six. Looks like I'm taking the, the card in. <laughs> We've got Lavinia with a seventy. We've got Zofia with a sixty. Bear forty three. That's respectable. That's That's a respectable number. Well, look, uh, we got uh, we got a twenty nine yeah. star pupil Stekus, yeah. fresh off his his health and everything. <laughs> All right, let's see. I guess that makes sense that I'm not very stealthy considering I'm grievously wounded. Sure. And also pretty imperiled, I would imagine, too. You've been taking a ton of peril today, right? I'm fucked. Okay. So not not too terribly awful, uh, all things considered. Uh, It could have been a lot worse. Uh, So how close do you want to try to get? I want to feel the warmth of the fire. Oh, okay. (laughs) Wait. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I wanted to get close enough so I could start seeing like what they're doing. Okay. Can I lift um, Hubert into a tree? Maybe he could camouflage as a bird. <laughs> okay. If he's down. So tree no, I'm up. Jeff, why oh. are you ominously rolling 3D hundreds? It's not important. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> I was going to ask something, but I forgot what it was now. So you get about halfway down the hill. And that's when you see uh, Hubert, uh, who's who did fairly well in the fight, but he, he got some blood on his feathers. And halfway down, he gets obsessed with, with getting some of the blood off his newfound coat. But in doing so, he stumbles and trips. And you see him start kind of run, you know, like rolling down the hill a bit, like thump, 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 thump. He kind of slams into a rock. Uh, and all of the rest of you kind of quiet down, quiet down, quiet down. And then you can see it got the attention of one of the folks uh, who was down there. And you can see in front of uh, in front of the actual house, there are three individuals. You're much closer. And I'm going to roll over your awareness test from before. Um, you can see that two seem to be dressed in that same kind of ratty, rundown type of, uh, of armor, like really... F- you know, furs and, and hides. It, it it looks like, you know, there's like three or four animals that were pieced together to make that armor. But then there's another one. This fairly large individual, probably, well, over six feet, you would imagine. And they are, they are completely decked in some kind of glistening, dark, metallic armor. And they ha- they are incredibly decked out as they're all kind of looking upward at the ridge, the hill that you guys were coming down. And you can't see a face from this distance. You're probably, again, you're probably about halfway down the way you needed to go. There's like some gesticulations, arm motions and stuff like that. And then one of the three, but not the one that seems to be decked out in this this massive armor, one of the three begins walking up in your direction as if they're kind of scouting out what the noise was while the other two stay behind. The one that's dressed in this like heavy armor uh, steps inside uh, the actual house and out of vision, while the other one seems to be dragging, uh, you would imagine, looking at this point, bodies uh, to this bonfire where they're just sort of like burning them. And then you can see that they're kind of stacking up the charred remains in like this other other pile. What do you guys want to do? You got this one, one, one person coming in your direction. All of you have found places to hide. As best you can, but they are aware that something's up here. Whether that they know it's you, it's people, they're not sure, but they know something's up here. You've got a moment to plan. Y'all should ambush. We want to fight more today. I'll wait till he comes close enough that I can walk up and strike him. Chuck a snowball at him. I'm gonna get ready to. (laughs) 
like assess the situation and like how far away am I from um, Hubert? You're probably all within 10 yards of each other. Each hiding behind whatever you could find. Okay. Um, since he seems to be headed towards where Hubert's at, I'm just going to get a, my staff sling ready. I'm going to have a ready to attack him once he gets to where he sees him. If he goes far enough, I don't even know if he's going to go far enough to look. He might just come up some and then turn around and walk away. Don't, don't tell me how to run my NPCs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but they continue to, to move up closer and closer. I want everyone, uh, if you could please roll a easy resolve test as it's getting kind of stressful. What was the difficulty? Easy is fine. Ooh. I crit success. With a crit success on Stekis, you can go ahead and move one step up the peril threshold. Yeah, hey, get my track. skill points back. <laughs> I wish I had a crit success. The those who failed, Hubert, uh, take eight points of uh, of mental peril as the stress is starting to get to you. Uh, and then Sophia, also with a crit success, you can go ahead and move one step up the peril threshold as you take some deep breaths. You steal yourself. You resolve yourself. You're like, no, I can do this. I've survived. I've survived this long. I've survived other things. It's just one person. It's fine. And as they step a little bit closer, they're now within range at this point of ranged attacks. If there's something you want to throw or if any of you had a fixed or ready, some kind of ranged weaponry. Six six yards of, is what my range is. Okay. If you wait a little bit further, they're going to come around this rock that that stuck it. Excuse me, that Hubert has hidden behind, and they. You wait. You wait. They step right up behind this rock, and as they're turning around to see Hubert, I'll give you all a chance to do. This is basically an ambush round to do. Uh, you're, you can take a turn. So, what do you all want to do? You all get one chance to do something here. Can I do like a dirty trick and like throw a snowball in his eyes? Absolutely, go ahead. And roll routine dirty tricks to try to hit them in the face with a snowball. Since they're surprised, could you technically try and attempt a knockout? Yeah, they are surprised. So you can attempt a knockout. Absolutely. Okay, I'll try that. Punch him in like, the I face. I don't think I could make a snowball and throw it and then take out my weapons. <laughs> so I'll try and just uh, knock him out. Cold cock them. All right, we're like total stealth missioning this now. Uh, pass. So they cannot use reactions. So as the figure steps closer, this long, ratty black hair uh, with these little tiny, you'd think are like bird bones, like wrapped in various, uh, various strands, almost like dreads hanging down. You step up behind them because they didn't see you because they stepped closer to Hubert and you come up behind and you just conk this person over the head and they collapse to the ground. What's your BB? Uh, Eight. Okay, so then they are effectively knocked out uh, for eight turns which is the equivalent of about uh, like a minute and a half or so, something like that. Nice. So that's so you, you conk, conk them out. You drag them quickly out of sight. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and roll an awareness test uh, to see if this person down below. They also get two D10 plus BB peril. Absolutely. You can go ahead and roll that while I roll my awareness test of the one that's down there. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it challenging for them because they are busy doing something else. And that is going to be a fail. And so as, as you all watch as bear steps out conks, this person on the head drags them out of sight. When you're the rest of you who are looking down at that like pyre area, you see that that person down there is still working. They're still kind of dragging things and people. It's like it's, it's almost as if they're just sort of kind of charring a variety of things and then breaking down the remains. It's pretty gruesome, in fact. Uh, and uh, you can start to smell this horrible stench. Uh, that's wafting up, but they do not seem they do not seem to have reacted. What do you guys want to do? You know you don't have a ton of time. What do you want to do with this person who is unconscious? Uh, we don't have rope. So we can't I do have rope. Oh. There's sort of like a coup de gras move. I think that would be better. That would be Well. What is that? 
That's why you kill them when oh. they're defenseless. A murdered, helpless man. Yes. If you're helpless, you are slain with a successful attack. Perfect. So who wants to be the one to do it? If you want to do it, it's up to you. Sophia no, will try. Well, oh, go ahead, Sarkis. Go ahead, I guess. I got no problem with it. No problem. Yeah, you just walk up. Uh, what weapon are you using? You got something small? Something? I just used my, I rolled with my axe. The only thing I have would have been something we picked up from over there if I had brought it with me, but I didn't. I only have my axe and my staff sling that throws rocks. So Maybe you just walk up and, and just crack their neck. Just yeah. And that's that it. They're dead. And the body just goes limp. The, the The hands just kind of just kind of let go of whatever weapon they were carrying. It looks like another one of those flails. I don't. No one seems to be alert to your presence. What do you want to do now? Try and move up, or maybe make a noise or something, then get that guy to come up here. What do you? Hmm. hmm. Can Lavinia search the body? Uh, yeah. If you start going through the body, they all seem to carry kind of the same same few things. You can see that there's uh, this one has what looks to be a couple red cap mushrooms on them. So there's three red cap mushrooms on this one. Uh, that actually is a delirium. It does have a, a, a thing, basically increases your damage threshold for a short time. Uh, it also, they also are carrying what look to be three hand throwing axes. Uh, they've got a threshing flail. Uh, and you, you, you look in and there seems to be a chunk, like chunks of raw. You're not sure what you think it's silver. You're not an, entirely 100% sure. You have to, to check it out later, but you think it's silver. And so you take like these, these little raw chunks. They're not coins. But they probably could be melted down and traded for coins. Okay. How, how far away are we again from the fa- the, the farmhouse? Three hundred yards. Yeah, I, th- I think there the was body out. Beat him. I think that the the continued trying to be sneaky w- would work. Gets the, get closer and try and knock this other guy out when he like comes to one of the pyres. Like, how far away are I fr- are they from the house? Uh, the pyre is only, it's like right out front. It's like in the driveway, basically. Okay. Uh, from this distance, you see there, like, you can see there's a handful of horses. There's a cart. Maybe maybe spook the horses and have him go investigate that. That's what I want to do is go towards the horses and see if I can spook them and make them make noise. If you're going to do that, I'm going to want a stealth check to get down. Okay. Nope. Crit fail. So you all watch as Stekis tries to carefully saunter away uh, and like kind of saunter is not the right word, but maybe that is because he crit failed. He gets up nonchalantly, takes his time, cracks his back a little bit, and then he, you see him try to kind of move from place to place. But then right as he gets uh, maybe about 30 yards north of you, you can see his foot begins to slip and he kind of slides down a bit, kind of like Frodo in the Lord of the Rings. And then you can see that one of the other, the other one that was down there by the body shouts and begins running in his direction at this point. That was our chance. The distraction. <laughs> yeah, let's bag him up. Okay. So you start charging in. Lavinia is going to stay way in the back. Okay. As they're running up, they're going to chuck uh, a, a Francesca at you, Stekis, uh, first. They're going to run up as they're running, they're running, and you see as they're running and they get within a couple yards of you, uh, just as they're about to kind of slam into you, they're going to throw one of their axes that kind of catches you off guard a little bit. And that's going to it's gonna miss, so you manage to kind of duck your head out of the way. They're going to continue in your direction, and then they're going to attempt uh, to, at this point, just knock you down, Stekis. Uh, so they're going to swing at your feet a bit, see if they can get you off balance. And that's going to fail as well. And it's your turn. What would you like to do? I'll see if I can do a uh, takedown on him. Okay, go ahead. That's coordination, right? Uh-huh. Standard? Yes. Nope. That's a fail. You got two more AP. Yep, I'm just going to attack with my axe. Also a fail. Okay. Now, the rest of you. Uh, you guys are probably about 20 or 30 yards away. All of you, what do you want to do now? Do you want to pop out now? Yeah, I'm trying to move up closer before we get noticed. Okay. Stealthily, or are you just going to run in? I'll just run in. Okay, so you're just going to run in. Uh, it's about, again, 20 or 30 yards away. You've got a movement of six. You can get there. You can get. Uh, I'll say you can get up to this person or within striking distance in three in all three of your movements. So if you use all three of them, you can get. You can close the distance. All right. 
Uh, Bear, what about you? Uh, yeah, same. I was charges, man. Okay, but you have you have more movement, I think, right? Uh, I think one more yard. I think I'm at seven. Okay. All right, so you're the same thing, and then uh, Zofia. Zofia's seriously wounded, so Zofia's not looking to really jump into this. Really? Okay. Do you have any ranged weapons or anything? Mm. I want to do that. Can I do two and throw? Sure. Yeah, do two and throw. So move two and then roll a, roll a throw. All right, so 14 yards in a Francesca. Sure. All right. Yeah, it's a success. They've already banked. They already used all their, uh, their AP, uh, but unfortunately, you don't do a ton of damage to them. Uh, okay, so then, Sophia, what do you want to do? Sophia's just going to try to stealthily move. Okay, so roll a stealth check. Crit success. Yeah, you, you're you pretty confident that they have not seen you. You're pretty small, especially compared to Stekus and Hubert and Bear, who have made themselves known. And you're pretty confident that you've got very, very close, probably within one movement action of getting to them without them even seeing you. Uh, and Lavinia, are you staying in the back? Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm probably okay. just going to stay where I'm at. So then it'll come back to the Marauder and they will once again, uh, seeing that there are more people that have shown up, uh, what they're going to do is they're going to take one swing of a two-handed, okay, holding, it, holding it with two hands, uh, their threshing flail at Stekis. That's a crit success, but I only do seven damage. Uh, actually, it's eight damage technically because I have it in two hands so eight damage um and then they're going to shout and then they're going to start they're going to use two ap to hustle twice back down the hill in the direction of the farmhouse into which that very heavily armored uh person seemed to have disappeared do i get to do an opportunity attack or did they maneuver absolutely oh, okay. no they're no they're, they're moving they're just straight I'm up doing moving. I'll let the two of you do it because you have you have a spear out too, so you probably had reach. Nope. All right, it's a miss as yours goes wide, but Hubert's uh, taking advantage of the fact that two of you are attacking at once manages to clip it. Does ten damage? It's going to move it as well. Uh, I'm going to roll a for injury really quick. No injury. Uh, okay, so now Stekus, what do you want to do? This thing has now moved uh, about fourteen yards down the hill away from you. Yards. He's not in the house yet. He's by the house. Oh no no no! He's he's a ways away from that. Okay, so I will. There's this there's this fairly large yeah. tree that's like on the eastern side that's between you guys and the house, and he has that they haven't even reached that yet. So if I if I hustle twice because I have a movement of nine, I should be able to get to him, right? Yes, and then you can do something else with your last AP. I'm going to uh, attack him. Okay. That's a success, and that will move him down one more on the damage track. So I'll roll two d6s for injury. Good on both. Uh, but you're using a vicious weapon, yes. correct? Yes. All right, so I got to roll a third, and I do, in fact, get an injury. This is going to be a moderate injury. And when I injure with a melee weapon, they get two injuries instead of one. Do two right, numbers. So I'll roll two d100s. The first one is a 22. So 22 is bruised ribs, so encumbrance limit is reduced by three. Not really going to apply because they're nowhere close to their limit. But 48 is a jammed finger. They immediately drop whatever they're holding, which is the flail. Nice. And until fully recuperated, they have to flip the results to fail all melee weapon attacks with their primary hands. They drop their flail as you attack, and now they have to make a decision on whether they want to pick it up or keep running. Uh, Hubert, it's your turn. They have shouted the whole way down. You know that there's. it's only a matter of time before that last figure that you saw. And honestly, you, you haven't even seen if there's any more. There could be more inside. Who knows? Yeah. I know. Uh, I'm going to chase after him with two hustles. Okay. And then I'll strike him once more. Go for it. It's a pass. Another success nice. that will move them down once more. And they are not looking great as they are grievously. Look at you guys. And another six. So this time it's going to be another injury. Here we go, guys. 57. 
a mutilated hand. Stop hitting this person <laughs> in the hand. <laughs> Josh knows about this one. Uh, so you can see that they're they're laboring, holding their hand as, as now the idea of picking up the flail doesn't even make any sense whatsoever at this point. Uh, as their the hand seems to have fallen, a couple fingers have dropped to the ground in the, in the snow and rock. Uh, and Bear, it is your turn. Can I use those fingers? <laughs> <We're> all- <laughs> <laughs> Throw him in some milk. We should bring him to Merlin. <laughs> You're all thumbs. <laughs> uh, Bear, what do you want to do? Uh, he's a little further away from me. I don't have another X to throw, so I'm just going to uh, do the hustle three times. There is one on the ground that they threw at Stekus if you oh. wanted to try to pick that up. Uh, no, I'll, I'll skip it. Just, yeah. All right, I would say you with all with all your movement, you could you can catch up. Nice. All right, so then Sophia, you're well hidden, but they have they have moved away from you. They're probably somewhere around twenty yards or so uh, away from you, down the hill. This is rocky terrain, so you can't really run or charge. I guess I could try picking up the axe and throwing it. Okay, so you can get the axe. That's one AP. And then you're probably going to have to use at least... You You have pretty good movement, so you probably have to use at least one of those movements, one of your APs to move closer. Sure. And then your third AP you can probably use to throw. So go ahead and roll an attack. Simple ranged? That's simple ranged. Yep, that's all it is. All right, that is a hit. Go ahead and roll a D6. All right, so uh, for so for the friend Jessica, it's CB plus one. So what's your CB? My CB is five. So five plus one plus four, which is what you rolled, puts you at ten, which is in fact enough to kill it. As Ooh. all you big hustling guys are running down this hill, and you see uh, like like tumbling over a hand, one over the other, this throwing axe, thoo, 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 and it's just like buries into the back of this individual who had turned to run hand mangled and they slump to the ground what are you guys doing they were shouting you don't know how much time you have before somebody comes to look uh, i'll rush towards the barn yeah or the okay. farm nope. okay. so you're like rushing inward not be in view of where he was so like i could watch okay. somebody like run by from the house something so like do that. you want to do you want to run down? I mean, at this point, you guys are getting really close to the actual farmhouse area. Again, there's one large tree. There's some small rocks here and there, and there's a couple dead trees that didn't survive uh, the snowstorm a couple days prior. You can find a couple places to hide if you want, uh, but I will I will want new stealth checks. Yeah, I want to see if I can like get in a position where someone will like, kind of run by me if they're not paying attention uh, and try and hide because I know I don't have much time. Stealth test at this point. Similar for Sophia. Nope. Okay. I'm just standing. Uh, roll, roll a stealth test, Sophia. I'm standing there, like, out in the open, just facing the opposite way. I can't see them. They can't see me. I rolled a terrible 66 critical fail again. I just, I've just failed. Stekis and Sophia are trying to hide, but are tr- like, Stekis, you're, you're kind of a big dude. You're having trouble. You don't know if you can quite, you're, you're kind of nervous about going, running all the way down the hill to the tree. Bear and Hubert, what do you want to do? Uh, I wanted to hide the body. I'm just trying okay. to stay with it, I guess. So it doesn't fall over. I'm going to move towards the farm. Whatever cover's on the way. Okay. All right. So then I'll go ahead and bring you guys over to the map at this point and let you see a little bit of what's going on. Since you ran all the way to the farm, Hubert, I'm going to put you gonna be able to see some things all right so i'll say i'll say hubert you're probably on the map at this point uh Would you say the rest i of- have view of the barn or the farmhouse yeah oh no for sure you guys have been coming down a hill so you've been looking down at it for a while now okay. um yeah. do you want me to roll a stealth test i want to move very slowly like a little bit closer if you're doing any sort of movement, I'm gonna to want to stealth test. Uh, if you're staying still, I'm, I'm gonna say that you're fine and you can stay uh, un- unhidden. It's up to you though. But okay, she'll she'll stay. Yeah, she'll stay for now. Okay. Uh, and then bear, you said you're trying to hide the body. Yeah. Okay. Roll a stealth test. 
Uh, just normal. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so, ninety nine on the die for bear. <laughs> <laughs> so, you you watch this bear like lifts this this body up and leans it against a tree, like a little sapling tree, and then kind of puts a pair of sunglasses on it and like a Hawaiian shirt and puts a cigarette in its mouth, hoping that it'll just blend in with the crowd. Yeah, he's still alive. And, and as that happens, you see the front door burst open and there is that heavily armored figure again steps out and looks around. I just want to roll a bit of a awareness test at this point. Okay. Looks around and sees the body of the one that you just killed slowly rolling down the hill as you kind of lose your handle on it when you're trying to drag it and it just happened to take up a little bit of momentum and it falls down and there it is immobilized and uncertain and they look out at the hill at this point and they look quite formidable and they start moving a little bit closer and then you hear some shouting. And then you can't really make out the language again. It's that same sort of language that you heard a few of them speaking to one another. And it shouts again. And it shouts again. And then you see it pulls out like a little horn on the on their on, on like the, the, the waist of the and it kind of blows it. <laughs> There's no response at this point. And you can see that this person starts to back Does off a little bit. Does the body have a horn on it, the one that I'm next to? Yeah, there is one. Uh, Lavinia is going to pick up the horn and she's going to respond. Okay. And so you see it kind of pauses for a moment, thinks, looks at the body that's laying on the ground, and then walks up to it. Hubert, roll a stealth test. Very important stuff. No. Hey, you oh. got a match with my squad. Crit fail. Okay. <laughs> As they start walking in the direction of the body on the ground, uh, not at, you, totally casually, like not in a like not hurrying or rustling, seem seem to have have calmed a bit from the horn. But the fact that there's this dead body, or this immobile body, starts walking in its direction and comes up to it looks over to the, this this huge metal like munition plate wearing figure looks over and they see hiding behind this large oak tree near the farmhouse Hubert is kind of squatting there and then just charges at you uh, so I'm gonna roll for initiative for this guy because I didn't think this was going to get Can, this um, far what does it take to channel power? Shell power is just an AP. For each AP you spend, it's basically plus ten percent. Can so I know I'm technically not. Can I cast a spell? Yeah. Uh, how's your corruption? Uh, my corruption. Three, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't see why you couldn't. Um, I'm gonna channel two you're... power. Okay. And then I'm going to cast. Uh, cast handed grasp on the guy because all I need is line of sight and a dab mm -hmm. of animal fat and sure. Lavinia does that thing where she sneezes and she kind of like spits out the animal fat and let's pray that I don't die okay so, so you channeled power twice it's 2 AP plus 20 on your incantation test so that makes it easy and I pass Yay! So okay. after successfully casting the spell, uh, the foe instantly drops what's ever in their hands, just outside of easy reach. Okay. And so you see that this fairly large Morgan Stern has just suddenly, he fumbles with it like, whoa, what the? And it just falls to the ground. And you see like suspiciously, it starts to look around at this point as if it doesn't, it's because it was looking at you and you didn't do anything. It's as if this this creature might be familiar with magics and starts to kind of look around for a source. Hubert, what are you doing? I go for the fumble. Okay, so you dive at it, you run at it, and you pick it up. 
Sure. Uh, and so that's AP to move, AP to pick it up. What else do you want to do? You are ahead of them in the initiative order. So uh, uh, you got one more AP. Am I, so I'm in with engagement range, range right? Yes, because it dropped within easy reach. So if you went to pick it up, you would be in engagement range. All right, I'm going to strike him with whatever I just picked up. Okay, it oh, is a no. Morgan Stern. It is a martial melee weapon. Uh, let's roll martial. Do you have martial? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, yeah, you should. CB plus two is the damage. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Those are the absolute uh, worst. That's unfortunate. That is another fail as he rolls a 92. I don't know how many times you guys have rolled in the 90s tonight, but it has been quite a few. In an episode of Here Comes the 90s. (laughs) Wow. Uh, Get out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So then it'll go next. Oh, let's see. I'm looking at what else I have on me. Uh, It's frightening. Well, to be fair, its main weapon isn't actually on them. (laughs) You picked it up. Yeah, this is what you're going to do. You're in in range of him. He's going to uh, step up. Well, he actually doesn't have to because you're right next to him. I think what he's going to do is he's going to he's going to take aim twice and then try to choke hold. Uh, I don't think I have him punched in, so I'm just going to roll a regular D100. And that is, that is a fail. Here come uh, the 90s. <laughs> just keep rolling like that. And so and it'll be fine. you manage, you manage to, you manage to kind of, uh, push aside, uh, his, uh, his choke attempt. Uh, Stekis, it is your turn. Uh, what do you want to do? You're a little further up the hill. I would say you can probably get to him in two movements. Two movements? It would take uh, AP for me to try and see if I've like seen that armor or anything like that before. Uh, I mean, the armor you could probably identify easily enough. It's just it's just plate armor. Oh, it's just it's not like special. Okay. No. Okay. It, it's better than anything you all are carrying. Oh, I mean, it's special in the sense of that it's not normal, but it's not like. It's uh, it's armor that that seems to be worn by somebody who knows how to use it and who has used it frequently. This this seems like a foe you have not yet fought. Yeah. Uh, what you have been fighting lately has been uh, a bunch of people in crappy furs and hides. This person is wearing pretty thick, heavy plate. What would you like to do? I guess uh, I will move up and... See if I can't knock him down. Okay. Uh, so you move up two, and then you're going to try to take down. Yeah. And again, it's hard to range. So you're not able to charge, so just roll a coordination test. And then my resist roll. Ooh. He gets knocked down, 94. As I fall to the ground, this guy goes falling to the ground. This is amazing. So uh, then next up is Bear. All right. Well, I just realized I had a bottle bomb in my inventory, and I want to try throwing it in. <laughs> There's people there. Is, uh, isn't bottle bomb in a burst radius? Uh, it's just the foe that I throw it at, and one other combatant uh, okay. has to succeed. So it's gonna, it. it'll hit somebody else. Yeah. Uh, okay. <sighs> it's up to you. Where'd you get a bottle bomb? I think I started with it. <laughs> Yeah, I have one too, and I thought about it, but I didn't want to like make a scene. That would have been a good distraction. How far away am I? I'm pretty far, right? Uh, I would say it probably would take your whole turn to get to him. All right. I'm just going to do the two hustles and throw a bottle off. Uh, so that's a. I'm going to roll a, a D100 and find out which one of us it hits. Well, I got to. Make it first. Oh, uh, what's the difficulty? Uh, just standards fine. Oh. No, I failed. Okay, so it goes exploding off in a different different direction. Uh, kind of clinking off one of the one of the stones nearby. 
Uh, then it'll be Zofia's turn. Can I just, like, burrow under the snow, please? <laughs> what? If you want, sure. <laughs> what? Just... Don't you have ranged weapons? No. Um, Got a bottom no. one. No. I do. <laughs> that worked so well. Um, and the range of a bottle bomb is one plus PB, so I can only throw it um, five yards, I think. Okay. So I don't know that that's going to work for me. So why don't you try Inspiring Words or Litany of Hatred or something? Inspiring Words is Leadership and Litany of Hatred is Intimidation. Intimidate. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. I don't have leadership, so it's going to be flip to fail. But I'll give it a whirl. Go for it. <laughs> we can do this. And I sound like I'm scared shitless. So it doesn't really work so well. Okay. Uh, all right. So then, Hubert, what do you want to do now? I want to move up to his takedown, right? Uh, he was—he is on the ground right now. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna mark him as my new challenger. Okay. And then go for a double take aim. Okay. And strike him with his Morgenstern. Okay. Go ahead and roll it. What'd you say the damage on it was again? Uh, I had it up a second ago. Uh, Morgenstern is CB plus two. It is also adaptable, so if you use two hands, it would be basically CB plus three. All right, I'm three-handing it. I mean, two-handing two it. <laughs> that's, that's more of my thing. It's uh. more of my thing. Oh, yeah, true. Yay. That, nice. That, that is a hit. Additional D6 because he's down on the ground. That is true, and you're going to need it. Uh, D6. Oh, exploding. It's exploding. It's exploding. exploding. Holy it. sh my Do mind it. is my Explode mind. Explode again. Blown. Explode again. Please. Oh, oh, no. oh that's <laughs> a shame. Uh it's a total of 18 points of damage, which will move him down two freaking steps. Nice. Roll for injury. Okay. I gotta roll a D6. Uh the Morgan Stern is it vicious. I think it might be. The Morgan Stern. Yeah, so it's two D6s. Yeah. For injury, this is fucking hilarious. Okay, both of them are uh, both are good. All right, so holy crap, what just happened? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> uh, he will. Is he gonna pull out a weapon, Jeff? Uh, he doesn't have anything good on him. He left his lance somewhere else, and you cack-handed grasp his fucking Morgenstern. <laughs> good job. I'm not upset or anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up. Uh, you can, shit. I don't think there's anything I can do. I'm gonna get up. So both of you can make a, a opportunity attacks. As I'm gonna step one out of out of there. So go ahead and make. Uh, so Stekus and Hubert, since you're up there, I'm getting up. Uh, I do have a ranking coordination, so that's one AP. Uh, it's a miss by Stekus, Hubert. Strike. Another wind up. Go for it. <laughs> both are misses. 94. Okay, so then I'm going to spend both of my remaining AP to move. I'm going to, he's going to start moving, hustling back. Dude, this is good. If he gets, even if he gets away, do you know how embarrassing it is? You stole his fucking weapon. <laughs> So he's gonna start running back to the back to the farmhouse. Uh, all right. So then, Stekis, it is your turn. How far did he move away? Uh, uh, he moved something like fourteen yards. Yeah, he's got four. So plus he stepped away. So he's probably about fifteen yards away from you. I have because he had the. One. I have nine movement, so I'm gonna go after him and try and take him down again. All right, go right ahead. Let's see if this works. Nope. <laughs> As a crit fail. Yep. Oh my god, the crit fails tonight. Okay, so you're going to take uh, a d10 uh, plus one, so seven points of physical peril from overexertion. Uh, so then next up, it'll be Bear. This guy's oh, pretty far man. away from you at this point. Uh, where are these horses at? When there's some horses chilling? Yes. Uh, 
there's a couple that are right out in front of the the house. Uh, they seem to kind of like be munching on some of the the bushes nearby. Uh, how close are they to me? They're they're not close oh, at all. So you're okay. you're still you're still partially up the hill. Uh, I'll just chase after the the big guy, I guess. So Bear's turn is over. Uh, it's next up is uh Zofia. Again, you're a ways away. Okay, so Zofia is going to chase after Bear. Um so okay. it'll be either one or two hustles you can tell me so that I want to kind of get myself past the stone area and towards the big tree. It's going to take your entire movement to get to Bear. Like you're all 3 AP because you were still up you were still up the hill. Like you you didn't actually come down Okay. And I have 10 the, movement to the ground. Mhm. Yep. 30 yards is about right. Okay. Okay. All right, so then it'll be Hubert's turn. What do you want to do, buddy? Sky is running after the horses. I've got to run after Stekus. Uh, two two hustles. So you move on over, and you are right next to a horse. This guy who looks to be getting ready to hop on top of this horse. Stekus, and, and, and what do you want to do? You got one AP. I'm going to strike this horse. Okay. Just attack the guy and get rid of him. Uh, here we go. All right, Ooh. attack the horse. That's good. That is that is good. That is good. That I don't know what the hell damage threshold a horse has, <laughs> uh, but we'll say that that probably moves it down two steps. I'll roll for injury on the horse. Movement injury. Let's go. Oh, uh, no, another one. But it is. Uh, I'll say it's too vicious, st- right? Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. Oh. It's a fucking injury. This is ridiculous. This is the stupidest. I, this is the stupidest shit ever. This is so funny. Oh my god. All right, let me roll a D100 for his injury. Ninety. Ooh, what is that? Ninety. Oh. It's a moderate. I want everyone to calm down. It's a moderate injury. Yeah, it's just a twisted. Oh my god! It's a twisted yes, ankle. Right. Movement. Until fully recuperated, reduce your movement by three. So the horse's movement is reduced by three. Uh, you're also going to take uh, three corruption for attacking right, a horse. I'll take four because I have the... Uh, oh, that's right. Your new drawback oh, for hedge, uh, hedge Knight. I have crestfallen, so I take an extra corruption. <laughs> oh, that's bad. I think... Oh, gosh. I think I'm still going to try to do it anyway. I think I'm... I think he's still going to get on the horse. So you can use the whole get up ability, like to get up from prone. It's also to get onto a horse. Yeah. Uh, so, and again, I have a rank in coordination, so I'm able to use it at one AP. Uh, this is this is the stupidest thing. So it's actually not moving because you guys are all engaged. The horse is. You're going to get an opportunity attack, but it's more going to be when he tries to turn and run on the horse. Uh, so both of you go ahead and roll opportunity attacks. So both Stekus and Hubert, as this guy is literally running and climbing on top of this horse. Nope. nope. It's a fail for Stekus. Uh, can I attack the horse? I mean, yeah, I guess. Go ahead, attack the horse. <laughs> doesn't seem doesn't seem right, but go well, ahead. The horse isn't the thing that's moving. It's, it's, it's fair. Nope. All right, 94... That's going to miss. That's going to miss. I know it's a horse, but that's yeah. going to miss. Okay. So this thing's got a movement of AB plus eight. But with the minus three, it's going to be AB plus five. So he's going to move 18 yards. Oh, boy. Okay. So then it's Stekas' turn. I'm going to use my movement of nine to chase after him. With Go right ahead. swing at him. <laughs> All right. Go for it. Swing. That's a hit. Does 10 damage, which doesn't do anything to him, in fact. Do we have a fate point? Or... Nope. They're all good. They've been gone for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any misfortune either, so we're all mm-hmm. out. Uh, Ashley, if there's something you specifically want to do, you can. Um, I'll just have her like come down the mountain. Isn't the critical on it that it knocks him prone too? Yeah, if I have a crit success, he's knocked prone. If you want to cast it, you can cast it. And if you crit success, I'll say it dismounts him. We can do that. It's a you know, it's a risk, but I mean, not a risk, but it's like 
Yeah. yeah if you want to do it. Uh. Did you roll your chaos die, by the way, when you cast before? No. Let me For your chaos see. manifestations? Yeah. You channeled two powers, so it should have been two chaos die. But again, you have that one... What, what seasons did you pick for seasons of uh, seasons of change? Uh, I did spring and then winter. So, or no, I flip flopped so that, that. I did winter and spring. So winter. Too. So you only only will run chaos die. Okay. Uh, what is that? Just a d six. Just a d six, and you just you're trying to avoid a one or a six. Yep, you're fine. You rolled a three. You're good. Okay, and then if okay, so, uh, your cast die does not result in a chaos manifestation, I don't get any corruption. Okay, good good to go. And then, uh, do you want to cast something now? Uh, you, want to, you want to give it a go? Yeah. All right, go for it. Uh, I'm just going to do one um, channel power. Go for so. it. Crit fail! Yes! Okay, so guess what happens with this? This one's pretty hilarious. Okay. Yeah, go Butter for it. weeps from my hands. I'm rendered <laughs> Maldroy, I guess, for 24 hours. It just means I can't hold anything without it slipping out of my grasp. It's funny <laughs> that I'm excited for that, it's but hilarious. it's disgusting. It's awesome. It's great. Fantastic. Uh, and then uh, you've got your seasons of change for winter, so it cancels out the chaos die, yeah. so you don't got to roll it. Uh, all right. So then, Barry, <laughs> continue your turn. Oh. Um, was there another horse by the one he took off on? There is a horse that is attached to uh, to a uh, a cart near the one, and then there's two more on the other side of the house that you can see from where you're standing. Yo. And he just he literally just passed them. I'm gonna jump in that cart and going after this guy. Hop in, Sophia. What would you like to do? Sophia will follow after Bear in the cart. I do have a skill rank in coordination. All right, so you head over, hop in to this cart. Hubert, what would you like to do? I'm going to go ahead and hustle with all three of my AP to catch up to the engagement. Okay, done. Uh, and then I am going to, on his turn, use all three all three AP to move a bunch. So One, I'm going to be a maneuver so we don't get to take opportunity attacks? Nope. I'm going to move 36... Uh, 36 yards west, but the two of you can go ahead and take your opportunity attacks. All right, I'm gonna attack him this time. Miss. Okay, miss on miss on Stekis again. All right, miss as well. Oh, guys, oh, no. that's two misses. You guys had so many opportunities, but he's now 36 yards to the west. Uh, and it'll be Stekis's turn, and then Bear or Stekis, and then uh, Lavinia, and then Bear. There are two horses next to you. If you want to chase, I don't to want to chase. This is this is the part where the my brain goes. We're not in danger. We came for something. We need to get it and leave before he go gets more people. That's where my brain's at now, because I can't catch him. Okay. So I'm gonna go back over like towards the entrance of the house and see if I can figure out. Uh, after a, I don't know how. I guess I can get into the house from where I'm at. Sure. I'm going to start looking and seeing if I can find that thing that Lavinia was looking for. All right. So you're going inside. Uh, Bear or uh, Lavinia, what do you want to do? Uh, she's going to come towards them on the horse. Okay. So you're going to start moving down the hill. You're, yeah, you're way, way, you're way, 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 way. <laughs> you're way. really, yeah. really far away, away. Uh, I mean, you're, so yourself is any one person you can mountain. see. Okay. Uh, then. Bear, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, let's go after this guy. Is this a carriage or what? This is some piddly ass farmer cart. Uh, you really want to go after coach? him? Wagon. You saw me go in the house, by the way. You literally saw me turn around and go inside the house and not chase him. By the way, just so you know. Uh, it's the cart a wagon. So plus five, BB okay. plus five. How far did he go? Uh, 36 yards west of where, around where Hubert was. So he's probably from you around 50 to 60 yards. He's all completely off the map. So don't bother measuring anymore. He's about 50 yards to the west. Oh, okay. So I can go 39 yards. We'll catch up eventually. We can, we can turn this into a chase scene if you like. 
I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, ah, screw it. I, I'll let him live. Okay. So you watch as he gets on this horse and begins heading west. You know that that heading westward will eventually take him to the main road. Which way he goes from there, who knows? But it eventually he'll get there uh, and not too long a time at the speed that he was going. Uh, I cannot believe that you guys injured the horse and gave him a freaking broken ankle. Like the amount of things that went right for you guys is absurd. And it fell apart at the end. Uh, no, no. I mean, like you guys just you had some shots and you missed, but like I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, no I, more injuries. Listen, I quite seriously thought I was about to kill Hubert. <laughs> but as you step inside Stekis, you see that the place is a bit ransacked, and you also see that there is a freaking lance uh, leaning in the corner. Uh, it's a military lance. Uh, go look at that. You imagine Take it. might be his uh his other weapon but it's a bit ransacked in here you see some blood as if there was some some fighting that went down uh the rest of you eventually start catching up uh what are you guys doing specifically just trying to find what we came here for so we can leave because i don't know when they're going to come back uh we'll scope out the place real quick to see what happened here okay if you're looking specifically for things once you guys just start rolling some scrutinized checks if you go inside uh, uh, you can go ahead and can Lavinia check inside. the the cart, the stuff that's in the cart. I know I can't sure. hold anything, but yeah, as you start going through it, the stuff in the cart just looks to be like animal feed and things like that. I failed my scrutinized test with a seventy four. Yeah, it's just you. I mean, you start looking around, you wouldn't you wouldn't even know where to look. Sophia also failed. I, st- I start Her looking, pets. and I see it's such a mess. I just fr- frustratingly give up and we'll, we'll leave the house again. Yeah. What else? Who else is doing something? I passed my scrutiny. Uh, Hubert, is, as you start going inside, you start looking around. There's a lot of stuff in here, uh, but unless you are moving into a home, it probably doesn't matter too much to you. Uh, but uh, as you're walking in the Western bedroom and, and looking at everything kind of thrown about, your, your foot sort of steps on a series of, uh, of planks that start to like wobble a little bit as you step on it and you kind of look down, you can see like this little, this little cut in the planks and you realize it's kind of like a false panel and you can, you flip it up and you, you look underneath the, underneath the floorboards is this sort of dusty chest. It looks like the, the little panel was kind of off as if somebody was trying to dig down into here. Uh, and like trying to get down there, but they didn't quite finish. Uh, and you can see that there's a chest down here, uh, kind of this dusty old, kind of like a military footlocker almost. Like it's fairly big. You start like hurt, you know, hauling it out, uh, and you can see that there's a bunch of blood uh, on the floor around here, as if maybe somebody was going for this and got surprised or got caught before they were able to kind of pull some stuff out. Uh, but as you as you break the chest open. There's a bunch of stuff in here, actually. It looks like this is probably uh, somebody's like old military keepsakes or old job keepsakes. You start flipping through it, and you realize there's there's a few things. Uh, you look, there's this really kind of nice, glistening, oiled kind of leather armor of some kind. It looks really, really good. Uh, it probably needs some some replenishing. It's a little kind of the the shine to it has kind of. Uh, time has certainly caused some of the shine to go down, but it still looks pretty sturdy. Some of the straps probably need fixing. Maybe Bear can take a handle of it. Uh, you see a pretty nice looking sword with kind of a, a good cover to the grip. Uh, and that you would probably, do you have warfare? Yeah, I do. Go ahead and roll like an, like a trivial warfare test to start identifying this kind of stuff if you want. You're pretty sure that the armor itself is just brigandine armor, but it looks to be especially well made. You can't quite, I mean, you've seen swords like this. It's not quite a foil. It's not quite a rapier, but it's kind of similar uh, in a way. Uh, maybe show it to Stekis at some point. And then you see this really nice cloak, this witch hunter's cloak and mantle and a hat as well. There's also a crossbow at the bottom, this arbalist crossbow, pretty easy to recognize that. Uh, a handful of bolts. There's this small leather folio inside of which there's this torn up, uh, like kind of torn up scroll that's got writing on it with a signature. 
Uh, and then there's nine gold coins, but they have a stamp on them that's different from the Rose of the Rhine that most of the Rhine's, the monarchy's uh, money has stamped on it. This is something different. Uh, so it looks like to be this is something like someone's hitting hidden stash of a past life that they've kept hidden and that they couldn't get out in time to try to help defend them. So um, when when Stekas comes in, you kind of show him the sword uh, and Stekas, you, you, you spent a lot of time. Uh, up in the pit fighting area, and you could see you've seen all manner of things. Uh, the The governor actually had a sword very similar uh, that he would occasionally uh, fight whenever he wanted to look really good. Uh, it's called a back sword. Ooh. So Lavinia, you were looking around. You check out the other bedroom. Um, you can't really find anything. Uh, a lot of it's broken. There's clothes kind of thrown about. You look. You're looking for. For any sign of like jewelry, and then it dawns on you that there were bodies out front, and you go out to the bodies and you start going through, a, you know, kind of grimly. And I would like you to make a uh, a resolve test at. Uh, I'll make it standard, or no, excuse me, we'll make it routine because it's kind of gross. Resolve. Yeah. Uh. So <laughs> that's another crit fail. Uh, and as you reach down uh, to dig into some of the, the charred bodies, the charred remains, you do find a pendant kind of wrapped around uh, the neck and kind of buried underneath this, this charred clothing, which you imagine was probably uh, the woman that you were sent uh, to, to actually get this from Chorta, Chorta Hobart. And as you rip it away, you kind of tear bits and pieces of her away and then you just immediately start kind of kind of just hurling a little bit butter weeping from your eyes vomit coming from your mouth and you're going to go right to incapacitated and you're also going to go ahead and take uh take uh three points of corruption uh and you can see that lavinia has just fallen outside to the ground and just she's done (laughs) like she's just she's just done with it but you found you look at it and you realize this is a sapphire and you kind of found what you were looking for what time of day is it like how long did this take uh, this is probably, mm, say, early to mid afternoon, somewhere in like the two to five o'clock range, something like that. So we may be able to make it back to our cart and then to her hut. Yeah, you can make yeah. it back. You could, you could make so it. So at this point, I'm going to say, or Stegas is going to say, well, he's going to go make sure that Lavinia found what she was looking for, and seeing that she can't really, uh, she's kind of done. I'm going to pick her up and carry her on my back we need to leave before someone else comes we've had a rough enough day as it is kind of thing and start heading back towards where we were to get on our cart bear what'd you say oh so i think your back is taken already yeah i was gonna have lavinia roll yeah, another check but then i realized she was gonna fail anyway because she's yeah. incapacitated so she could just the, matter, like, i could just lay her head on the creepy and it's just gonna like rub all over her face <laughs> god you're gross you guys are gross. Okay. So is there no one um, left here? Everyone's dead. I think there are five bodies out front that likely you would imagine lived here. Uh, Lavinia, you would probably know that there was there was Chorta, there was Joseph. Those were like the the husband and wife that ran this uh, this little goat farm, and then they had a couple people who worked for them too. You don't remember all their names, uh, but more than likely this is them. Anybody else doing anything here? Uh, when they were searching and stuff, I wanted to be putting the fire out just throwing snow on it yeah so they can't yeah no problem places easily no smoke. problem yeah we can get going okay we grab one of the horses you should grab the cart there. with the animal feed so we can take that back so i would say bear you would probably recognize that the two horses that were left here uh are what are called uh coarser horses oh. and the one that is Attached to the the wagon uh, is a dray horse. So you know, dray horse is just a, a simple workhorse, and like the coarser horses, there are are far faster and stronger. What do we uh, have on not, the horse? I believe you also have a coarser on there, or no, excuse me, you also have a dray on there. It's oh, just a basic workhorse. We should. Some I think you have two over there. We should. Yeah, we should get those horses on. Okay. All right. Roll a handle animal bear to see if they'll. Uh, yeah. What's the uh... Difficulty. Standards fine. Another one of those fat critical fails. 
as yeah. as you kind of go to reach out and grab them, uh, you kind of grab them both by the reins. One of them bolts away from you uh, and just, just runs in sort of a northwesterly direction as far away, but you manage to grab the other one. And so you, you, you keep one. So with your, your fail, they all, you'll, you'll keep one. Oh, okay. All right. So everyone comes together uh, with Lavinia. Are you leaving the cart and the dray horse? Or are you taking that too? We should take the feed to feed the animals at Merlin's. Okay. Because that's what's on the cart. Is this cart in okay. better condition than ours? Not particularly, no. It's fine. Yeah, I'll just take the feed, cut the horse free. You cut the horse free, take some of the feed, you head back up the hill, carrying all this other stuff, get back to your cart, have a new horse in tow, a bunch of random items to start fil- you know, going through, and by nightfall, by, uh, by sunset, uh, you all have made it back uh, to Merlin Pfeiffer's hut, uh, where she has cooked a, uh, a beautiful feast, uh, and she has it kind of laid out when she sees you kind of all, all kind of coming in. And all of you at this point are near incapacitated because trudging up the hill with all that new weaponry, all of those those feed sacks and stuff, uh, definitely. And then just the truck back and all the combat, you all look absolutely terrible uh, as you walk in. And when the door opens up and you see this beautiful face and you start to step inside, she's like, ah, ah. Wipe your feet first. <laughs>